Hi, I'm Jason, and this is the Cultural Breakdown. This last weekend, we saw some interesting numbers with the box office for some of these big budget movies, and I just kind of want to examine them a little bit. Right now, we got The Flash had a big drop off in its third weekend. Uh, its first weekend, it made $55 million, so that's pretty abysmal for what it costs to produce it. $15.1 million its second weekend, which says it was a 72% drop which was actually worse than the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie, but it wasn't as bad as Morbius, so I guess there's that going for it. And then this last weekend, it got just $5 million, so <laughs> that's a pretty bad drop. Keeping in mind, this had uh, like 1,500 less theaters because they were removing it from theaters because apparently people just aren't watching it, so they decided to remove it from theaters, and that's a pretty big drop, which also accounts for why it went from 15.1 to 5 million but either way it's not looking good for it and then we jump over to indiana jones and the dial of destiny it had a 60 million dollars uh, that took in domestically for its opening weekend and only 130 million dollars globally for its opening weekend so i'm just gonna look over at the box office mojo and you, you can see where they line up here uh the flash that was number eight at the box office uh and Indiana Jones, yeah, it's like it was number one movie in America this last weekend. It's like, yeah, because it, it can't, it's competing with Across the Spider Verse, which has been out for like a month now. Elemental has been out a few weeks. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just kind of up there with not much competition. In it. And, but the real bad thing about these movies is just the fact that they need to make so much to break even. Right now, The Flash probably needs to make around $700 million just to break even. And Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny probably needs to make closer to $750, $800 million to break even. And by the looks of it, these movies are going to be huge bombs. Jumping over to this top 10 list of biggest bombs of all times. Uh, right now, you have John Carter uh, at number one. And most likely, these movies are going to surpass it with that. Uh, probably want Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and The Flash are going to be one and two. But my question is, why are these movies doing so bad? Because I look at the reviews on here and they're not bad. I mean, critics reviews are kind of mediocre, but audience ones are OK. So why didn't these movies work? And I think it's because these movies are liked by the audiences that they have, but they don't make movie. These aren't movies that are made for general audiences. Now, I think these movies try to be a general audience movie because when you have these big budget movies like this, a lot of people at the studio get involved in it. They workshop everything to try to make sure it appeals to as massive audience as possible. But when you do that, you don't really appeal to any one group particularly. It's just generic. And while that's fine for some things, I think a lot of audiences are starting to kind of grow tired of such a generic movie and they want something special and the problem is you can't get something special when you have these big budget blockbuster movies like this they have to try to have mass appeal to recoup their budgets and i don't think there's really an audience for a mass appeal type movie like that anymore instead in the future what i would like to see is movies not spend 200 million dollars on a movie but spend like 10 million dollars on 20 movies and each movie is something different that it might have more of a focused appeal on a certain group. It's not going to appeal to everyone. It's not going to be these huge, like billion dollar movies, but it's going to be something that people like. And it's actually profitable to that each it's profitable amongst that group, but not necessarily everyone. And I think that's a better way to actually look at it. Cause when you look at the box office right now, I mean, a lot of these are big budgets, but I mean, you get no hard feelings. That was a, low budget movie and it's looking like it's doing pretty good and it's probably going to make its money back on that um asteroid city that wes anderson one i mean his is more of a niche audience but look at they not only added theaters to it because it was kind of a limited release but it's doing pretty well on i think its budget was like 25 million or something so it, it's around there so it's probably gonna i mean it's gonna make that back so i think that's what theaters or studios need to be doing in the future don't worry about these big budget ones i mean i think a big budget movie like that should be reserved for something special but when you try to make everything that it doesn't work and it just gets tiring and i think a lot of audiences just want something different from now on or at least moving forward i would like to see more of that but i don't know i mean i hollywood usually is 
really late learning a lesson and usually at that time it's too late but let me know what you think in the comments do you get tired of a lot of these movies coming out now and just kind of yearn for the days when we just have more simpler movies just a, a, a good story and nothing too extravagant I mean, let me know what you think and if you like what i have to say click the like button share the video out there and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news thank you